In this video, I go over reasons why Bitcoin will reach $100,000 by the end of 2021. There has been a wide adoption of Bitcoin that's been happening in the past 12 months. And the price of Bitcoin has recently reached $61,000, which is its all-time high. But even though this is Bitcoin's all-time high, there is a lot of reason and evidence that shows that Bitcoin will reach $100,000 by the end of the year. No, this isn't clickbait. There are a lot of good reasons why, so keep watching to find out more. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Zena. I make personal finance videos, but only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. So hit subscribe and the notification bell down below. It's free for you to do, and you could always unsubscribe later. Reason one why the price of Bitcoin may go up to $100,000 before the end of the year is because Bitcoin is slowly being considered its own asset class. For example, look at Goldman Sachs. So they have been against Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the past. Just last year, Goldman Sachs gave five reasons why Bitcoin is not an asset class and is not a suitable investment. However, it looks like they're changing their mind because last month they planned to launch a crypto trading operation according to this Forbes article. So if they didn't consider Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies an asset class, then why would they launch this to begin with? And crypto ETFs are gaining traction. So there are already crypto ETFs out there. A quick Google search will show you that there are many already. However, there has yet to be one in the US. Though it looks like it's coming soon because Fidelity is trying to start their own Bitcoin ETF. So last month, Fidelity filed with the SEC a preliminary registration statement on behalf of its Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust, an exchange trusted fund that would track the performance of Bitcoin as measured by its Fidelity Bitcoin Index. If this does go through and Fidelity does have the Bitcoin ETF that it's trying to make, then more people will invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. For example, think of your grandparents. Try explaining to them how to buy Bitcoin. There's public, private keys, hot storage, cold storage. It's all really confusing and it's not easy for them to understand how to buy. However, if Fidelity has a crypto or Bitcoin ETF, all they need to do is log into their Fidelity account and buy it just like that. They don't have to worry about anything else. A Bitcoin ETF would make it very easy for anyone to buy Bitcoin. How exactly will this bring the price of Bitcoin to over $100,000? Well, if this goes through and Fidelity has its own beat, BTS, oh my gosh, BTS. If Fidelity creates a Bitcoin ETF, then other brokerages will need to also provide that to their customers in order to stay competitive. Vanguard will need one, TD Ameritrade will need one. And in order to have these Bitcoin ETFs, they all need to buy Bitcoin. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin to ever exist. So this will definitely put the price of Bitcoin up. Another reason why the price of Bitcoin could reach $100,000 by the end of the year is because Bitcoin is being accepted as payment now. Some multi-billion dollar companies have started to accept Bitcoin as payment. Look at Tesla. You could buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. PayPal recently announced that customers could buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrency on its platform. Not only that, but PayPal also is letting their customers buy items with cryptocurrency. Multi-billion dollar companies that accept Bitcoin as payment will help increase the price of Bitcoin to $100,000. Why exactly? Well, Bitcoin is finally being used as what it was intended for as a replacement for fiat money. More companies will follow in Tesla and PayPal's footsteps and start accepting Bitcoin as payment as well. Consumers will see that Bitcoin is accepted as payment at a whole bunch of places and they'll become accustomed to seeing Bitcoin that they will be more comfortable to purchasing Bitcoin. 
Another reason why the price of Bitcoin will reach $100,000 by the end of the year is because companies are buying Bitcoin. Not only are these multi-billion dollar companies accepting Bitcoin as payment, but they're buying a whole bunch of Bitcoin. For example, look at Square. They spent $50 million to acquire 4,700 Bitcoin. Later on, Square purchased another 3,300 Bitcoin, and now in total, 5% of Square's $4.4 billion assets are now held in Bitcoin. Square isn't the only company buying Bitcoin. A company called MicroStrategy, which I've never heard of until I read this article, bought over $2 billion worth of Bitcoin. And earlier this year, Tesla put $1.5 billion into Bitcoin. And because the price of Bitcoin has gone up, they have made almost double their money back. Why exactly are companies buying Bitcoin? Well, there are many reasons why, but I think the top two reasons is one, because the founders really believe in Bitcoin. They think it's the future. And since they have such a strong opinion on Bitcoin, they believe that their companies should also own Bitcoin. And number two, because of customer demand. Bitcoin is everywhere in the news right now. Everyone's talking about it. A lot of customers want to use it. And by buying Bitcoin and by being able to have Bitcoin as a payment option, then they're staying ahead of the competition. Nevertheless, the price of Bitcoin will increase because all these companies are buying so much Bitcoin and there is only a limited supply of Bitcoin. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below whether or not Bitcoin will reach $100,000 this year. You could get $250 worth of Bitcoin for free if you sign up for the BlockFi interest account with my affiliate link down below. And you could also get $10 worth of free Bitcoin if you sign up for Gemini. The link is also down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure to watch this video next. And with that, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in this video. Bye.